Now, anxious about Japan's impending release of treated nuclear wastewater from the tsunami damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant, hundreds of South Koreans, in fact, staged a protest in Seoul. Activists holding placards gathered in the South Korean capital, wearing raincoats and holding up signs that read, We oppose the disposal of Fukushima's contaminated water, and no radioactive material is safe for the sea. The demonstrators marched in the light rain through the streets of downtown Seoul. The rally is the latest of weeks long protests since the International Atomic Energy Agency approved the Japanese discharge plants in the month of July. The agency has further said that the process will meet international safety standards and will pose negligible environmental and health impacts. The safety of the wastewater release plants has also been advocated by the government of South Korea. The Japanese government has said that the wastewater release is all set to start this summer, but it has not confirmed the specific date. South Korea has been trying to calm people's fears of, flood con of food contamination and environmental risks ahead of the release of the Fukushima's wastewater including the expanding of radiation tests on seafood at the country's major fish markets and even testing sand from its southern and western beaches. A massive earthquake and tsunami in 2011 destroyed the Fukushima plant's cooling systems. As a result, three reactors melted and contaminated their water cooling. The plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings has been collecting, filtering and storing of water in hundreds of tanks. But these tanks will reach their capacity in early 2024. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.